Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with Let's Play Banjo Kazooie on the Xbox Live Arcade. The last time, we messed around here in Treasure Trove Cove and didn't really get a whole lot done. And we had to explore the castle, or not the castle, but the uh, mountain a little more outside. And we could not figure out how to defeat this crab. And I still can't remember how to beat this guy, so I'm just going to ignore him for the time being. But, something that I remembered is if you come over here there's the honeycomb piece for this level so one more and we get both of them for this level and three more and we get a extra life health thing whatever and this dang shark is trying to kill me bad shark come here. Ah. there we go Okay, I really don't remember how to beat this guy. Yeah, yeah, it's your beach, whatever. Uh, let's see. That just hurts me. Maybe if I go for his eyes? Nope. Oh well, I give up. For the time being. Got everything in there. Let's go check out that that ship right there. Or see if anything's up here first, and then go check out that ship. I think we already I think we already already went up there last episode, so let's just head over here. Ooh, there's a bubble token. We can always go grab that. Actually, hang on. We'll get that in a few minutes. There we go, this is where we learned how to fly. So let's talk to uh, our favorite nearsighted bull and see what he has to say for us. This is your big chance, chicken legs. It's time for you to fly. Eh, it's plenty easy. Simple enough, even for you, bird brain. Just stand on a flying disc and press A. Here's 25 red feathers to help you into the air. And apparently 50 is the maximum for the time being. Your energy is a little low. I'll fill it for you. I never knew he was so kind. You've learned all the coves new moves. Which is a grand total of two. And I think there's something on top of here. Yep, Jinjo! And you get a pretty good view of everything. Uh, let's see. Let's head to that little island right there first, just to see what's in there. Because I honestly don't remember. To fly higher, you'll <laughs> need some red feathers. Press A to use one, but remember that Beaky can only carry 50 of them. You can also turn sharply uh, in the air by pressing the right or left triggers. Ah! I think you meant to say bumpers. Or I think it, I just read it wrong, because that kind of like did like a grand slam into the water. Let's try that again. Actually, it's down here. I think you can go in here real quick. Yep, see that little opening right there? Let's go in there and see what we got there. Then we'll go fly around the island. Yay, pieces of stuff that we need. See, I know there's a way to empty this out so it's all, uh, not... Ahoy there, Ivy Blubber's treasure. I think if you collect all the treasures, then the, uh, ship goes up to, uh, not being... I hate these inverted controls in here. There we go. 
Yeah, but I think if you collect all the treasure in here, then it goes up to not being filled with water. But I don't remember. And I think you can go in here? No? Nope, nothing else to do in here for the time being. Unless I can do something up here? Nope, we'll have to come back here for a later time, I guess. And luckily, you don't gotta worry about Sharky here in these little waters, because they're too small for him to worry about. Alright, let's try flying again, this time without killing ourselves. Yeah, LB and RB, those are the ones, not LT and RT. Uh, let's see, there's something in there, but I'll get there later, because I want to go in here. And we're on top of the mountain. Well, top of the pirate mountain. And I think there's a jiggy over here. But let's get this little, uh... Ah! Let's get this little bastard. Yup, yup, that's your name. Let's try to get this guy right here. And we need two more. Okay, nothing else but eggs in these trees, so... I guess a good place to stock up your eggs if you need them. And somehow I managed to miss all of those. Ah! Damn it! X or Y, but I think that might be an upgrade. There we go. Or maybe you just can't do it, I don't know. But I thought you could. And so you can go into the lighthouse, apparently. From the top. Oh, and it opens. For a mumble token. Yay, mumble token. And... 
why didn't it, why didn't it open when we were down there earlier? Because apparently that's the reason for it, so we can get up here, use that flight pad, and get our jiggy. But, huh, that's odd. Hey, look! There's the, ex there's the final honeycomb piece for this area. So, let us try to go get it. Yeah, I'm not gonna make this. Uh, I'll make shark bait. And is that a ginger or is that an extra life? It's an extra life. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Let's look around. Already got you. Ooh, there's another member token. I was gonna get that earlier, I think, but I forgot. So, get off me, little shark McNugget. Go on, disappear. There we go. Perfect. And there's another Mumbo token. We're finding these all over the place. Let's see. Let's go collect those notes over there, and then I'm going to try to get to that other, other honeycomb piece. But let's see what's in these treasure chests first. Feathers! So we can fly home free. And there's another mumble token. Ow, stop trying to kill me. There we go. Ow. Get up. Bad bird. Okay, where's that other mumbo token? I just saw it. It's over here somewhere. I know I just saw it. Where'd it go? There it is. Why is that guy standing over there all by his lonesome? Ow. Oh, he's like extra. Not tough. Never mind. I thought I. I forgot you killed him with the one hit with the uh, ground pound beak slammer thingy. So I was wondering why he didn't die in the uh, first hit when I just rolled into him with the rat attack. Get up, get up, you bad fat bear. Alright, two more and we get an extra life. Piece of health, whatever. Piece of life, piece of health, something. I don't know. But anyways. Get up, get up, get up, get up. And there's another Jinjo! So there's obviously gotta be a uh, shock pad over here so we can jump up there and collect him. Or something. So, maybe it's over here. There we go. Okay, let's go... Let's go the long way. been awarded a gamer pick. Lucky you. Oh, awesome. I think I have it from my other playthrough, though. Hey, yeah, we need to get those notes over there, too. I think the pictures you get are, um, Banjo for, for getting two jiggies, and then Kazooie for getting all the jiggies. No, or not two jiggies, but, um, uh, I know it has something in I know you get one for Banjo and one for Kazooie. 
I don't remember how. I'll look them up and then I'll tell you guys later. Because I kind of forget. Just like I forget a lot of things. My memory's not what it used to be. Not that I had much of a memory in the first place, but oh well. notes, and a few more things, and some other stuffs. Damn it! Bastard? He stole my feather and my egg. I forgot he does that. He has a chance to steal your uh, items. Or not steal them, but knock them off you, and then you gotta pick them back up. And honestly, I don't remember if stuff disappears after a certain amount of time in this game. Because most of the honeycomb pieces seem to stick along, stick around for like a pretty good amount of time, so maybe they don't disappear. So it's probably just more of a minor annoyance than anything. And you guys may have noticed that we don't get a uh, jiggies for collecting a hundred, a uh, hundred notes at each level. Um, but the main reason you're gonna want to collect the 100 notes in each level is because if you collect 100 notes in all like uh, 9 or 10 levels or whatever, uh, at the end of the game, there will be doors that you can open that will give you bonuses when you're fighting the last boss or something like that. I think one doubles your health and one does something else. I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure one doubles your health. So it's a good idea to collect them anyways. Speaking of which, let's check our totals for this level. 77 notes, and half of the jiggies, and both honeycombs. And, let's see, Mumbo's Mountain, we're good to go. So we're almost finished with this level. We might end up having to do this for one more level, to get the other, uh, the rest of the jiggies. Because I might get all the notes in this level, then the rest of the jiggies in the next, or in the next episode, not level. Um, but this one and the next one should probably be the last episodes for for here. But you'll probably end up gonna coming back to this place uh, throughout the game, or at least once or twice, just for a couple things. Let's see. I think here, if you do a uh, that on the X. Follow the clues if you're looking for gold. Alright. So just keep on heading, uh, keep on heading the direction they point, and then do a beak slam or whatever the heck it's called on the, uh, on the X's that you see. And this is a jiggy. Obviously. Alright, so far so good. There's another one. I think it might actually just point us to that mountain that I was going to go to earlier. Yeah, I think it does. And if not, we'll just go to the mountain anyways. Oh, huh, maybe not. Oh, and uh, that little bucket we see right here, we're going to use it for something later. And there we go. Ha, you'll never find me now. What? Um, there we go. Yikes, please open me gently. Gentle? What the heck? There we go, you little bastard. Alright. Four more. And let's go for that little bucket that we saw just a minute ago. 
kind of over this way. Come on, you can jump, you fat bear. There we go. Alright. Me leaky, no good for water. Can bear block hole with pebbles? So basically you poop into him. If I can aim. Two. Leaky patched. Leaky patched up. Now empty water for bear. Okay, yeah, he's how you empty the, uh... Well, I was thinking of something else, but... Maybe, maybe you don't empty the ship. But there, if I can remember where it's at, is actually a pretty useful little place. Oh, it's right there. I'm an idiot. So, let's grab some. I'm getting jiggy with it. It kind of sucks that Banjo doesn't seem to be able to uh, grab onto uh, ledges. But oh well. Okay, let's try that again. All right, here we go. Hey, Furball, you're looking wise. Solve my puzzle and win a prize. Let's see. And they already know our name somehow. Banjo Kazooie. Banjo Kazooie. Um, I don't remember exactly, but. Based on that, I'm gonna go ahead and guess that you have to uh, <coughs> spell out Banjo Kazooie using these letters right here. And to do that, what you do is just knock them down with your little ground pound attack. And you have a time limit, so if it if it takes you too long, then you gotta start over. B A N. Where's the J? There's the J. And let's see. And apparently you can't move the camera in here. There's the K. Where is that Z? There it is. Let's see, another O. Oh no. I. E, even though I prefer Firefox. The gate opens to reveal your prize, but first I'll cut you down to size. Oh, he does take more than. Bastard? Oh, he takes three little ground pounds. For one health, you little turd. Alright. And we got another Jiggy. Okay, now this area right here, it serves another purpose. If you go back in there, and... Notice how all the letters have reset? Basically, you can use this to get cheat codes. Um, some of them you can just look up on the internet, and you'll be fine just entering them in there. Uh, the other ones, they hand out to the game throughout the game, and they don't do anything until they're activated. Um, let me check to see something real quick, and I'll be right back. So hang on just a minute, guys. Okay, um... What I was going to show you in here is that this is how you activate, like, cheat codes. Um... And you do so by spelling out the word cheat. C H E A T, obviously. Um, you'll hear a boo while you're spelling out the uh, word cheat. And then I f don't remember if you hear anything when you're spelling out the password or the password for the cheat. 
but at the end you'll hear like a little sound effect so you know that you entered it right and you'll get that little effect that the cheat does uh, there's there's cheats like uh, giving you unlimited red feathers for flying maximum amount of health uh, right out at the beginning of the game stuff like that um, however if you use two or more save files or cheats um, it will delete your game like no questions asked so it's probably not a good idea to actually cheat um, I think it's just uh, I think it's if you use two cheats within a within like a like a between loading a game or whatever but I've never actually like used any of the cheats so I don't know I'll put a list of cheats up on the, the menu section I'm not gonna put all of them but I'll put a good amount uh, there are a couple cheats that you can use that will not delete your save game. Um, one or one variety of those cheats is cheats that the game tells you, which will double the capacity of your red feathers, blue fe blue eggs, and stuff like that. And the other reveals secret items that you're not supposed to be able to get. Um, Except for cheating. Uh, but there's another way to get those items, and I will explain to you what those are when we get them. Because we have the way to get them if you're playing on Xbox Live. So, let's go look around for some more stuffs to do. Uh, let's see. Krabby, I still have no idea how to beat you, so I'm gonna leave you alone for a few minutes. Let's see. I think to get into the other side of that boat, there's another side of the boat. Yes, genius, I know, isn't it? I am quite intelligent at times. Or maybe not another side, but... Uh, oh, we gotta give this to him. I that'd be half of me gold. Now we get the other piece, which is down in this little hole right here. And give that to him as well. And go down the hole. Oh. We got a beak barrage or whatever. Beak slam. Ah, let's see. Where is your gold, matey? There's another bubble token. And I think these are actually the last, uh... The last couple notes. In this level. Or not. Hang on. Come on. You can do it. Swimming sucks in this game. And yes, there is, of course, a whole level devoted entirely to swimming, which kind of irritates me. But it's actually a really fun level. Come on. I want that bubble token. You can do it. There we go. All right. Fork it over. Me treasure. Thank you, me hearties. Take this reward. I'm off to spin, spin, spin. Like, looks like eight gold bars. All right. Let's see where else we're gonna go. Another bubble token. And let's see, we got. Two more jiggies and six more notes. So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to wrap those up in uh, the next episode. And then we'll also start going towards our next destination at the next episode. So guys, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Have a good night guys.